Hey guys, assalamualaikum. It's Janaji. Welcome back to my channel for some more kitchen fun. We are cooking again today. Previous video you saw Mr. Kusem here do the guacamole. Yeah, so today's video he's continuing again and we're going to be making, he's going to show us how to make French toast, my style, easy as it gets. So yeah, let's jump into this video, see the ingredients he's going to be using and he's going to show us how he makes his French toast. Alright, to start with, we have bread. Of course, you need bread for French toast. Normal sliced bread, you can use any one you have. Firm the butter. We have eggs, milk, butter to cook it in, salt, cinnamon, and vanilla essence for flavor. We do not special one in the end where we stop it with peanut butter and jam, but we're making two plain ones first. So in a bowl, we crack in the eggs, both eggs. Try not to get any shell in there, unless you want some extra crunch. It's all good. I like to mix my eggs before adding anything else. Throw in the milk. I said I put a cup of milk for every one egg, so that is two eggs, half a cup of milk. Then we add in some vanilla essence, cinnamon to taste, and salt to taste, your own preference. Once it's properly incorporated, that's it. You just get your bread, soak it in and we're cooking it in butter as a key thing. So I have a separate dish. I'm just gonna soak the bread and set it aside. Make sure it's well soaked. Bread soaking. Was it so quite any length of time? No, once you soak it properly and you don't wait too long to cook it. And any kind of bread? I prefer firmer bread. So anything that firm? Yeah. Whole wheat, white, yeah, green matter? Yeah, I multigrain, a little healthier version. And in a pan, it's a between low and medium heat, using butter more flavor. So it's on between low and medium. I'm just going to put one slice there. Slice there. Just let it cook on one side, maybe a minute or so. While it's cooking, we're gonna prepare the stuff. So we dip in one bread just as we did before, soaking it up as best as possible. Add a brush slice of bread. We're gonna put some peanut butter. Amounts. Cover the whole bread and some jam. You know, if you have Nutella or any chocolate spread, it's pretty good. Goes pretty well as with this as well. You could put more more jam if you want, more peanut butter up to you. Then we soak in this one. What side? Are we leaving it to soak in there a little bit, and then we check in all two here. We'll flip. That's just like how you want it to look right there. And this one could have stay a little bit more on that side. Now at this point in time, just adding the next small piece of butter. Once you have this layer forming outside, that's what you want. Like I said, like a minute, minute and a half on each side, depends on the thickness of the bread. And it's more or less done there. Perfect looking. Two wonderful pieces of French toast. Now we're just gonna do this stuffed French toast. So now the peanut butter and the jam has been soaking in here for a while. So we're gonna take it now, put it down there extra stuff here, use it out. Make no sense to keep it big, keep it full. Come back with the butter again. I'm 
take it. I'm putting it down, not the peanut butter side and cream first, the plain bread side down first. Why? So now I'm going to cook all the way up. Flip side? Yeah, but, but for this one you have to keep on putting a little more pressure on it throughout. Try and get that cooking time sped up a bit because there's two sides of bread you're cooking. One shot. One thing guys, when you're cooking this one, keep the heat a little bit lower because it takes a little longer to cook through. I don't like peanut butter. Oh uh, no. No, well, if I eat peanut butter, I'll get a migraine. But? But. She drink peanut punch. Show your fridge have a peanut punch right now. So kind of weird. Can't drink, can't eat peanut butter, but I could drink peanut punch. What does it make peanut butter? Hmm? What does it make peanut butter? Peanuts? Peanut butter, girl. We have a peanut punch recipe, Yeah, we do. That's weird. This is smelling <coughs> really good. Almost done. Couple of flips on either side. We should be good to go there, guys. Let me just check the coloration on the next side. Oh, yes, perfect to mondo. This bad boy should be good to go there. So you have stuffed and then you have regular French dough. You can eat a bit, maple syrup. Me, yeah, of course you have to eat or maple syrup. You can eat it with honey. But healthy abortion. So I've eaten mine with honey. You stuff one. And she gone drown hers in maple syrup. So this is what it look like. So you see you have the regular one. And then you have the stuffed ones out hot still. So you cut the stuffed one so you can just see like you know what it looks like on the inside. Of course, you know you can put more stuff into yeah, it. Yeah, I mean there. you go crazy with your stuffing. One moment too. Oh wow. So check it out. So that's the stuffed one. And then you have the, the regular one. Looking good, right? So this guys, French toast, stuffed French toast and regular French toast. So I'm sure you all probably wondering how to make the fresh beef stuffed one so you know. Or same style as easy as pan, you can stuff it with anything. Yeah. Be creative. Cut some banana and put it in there too. Yeah, you can really put just about anything in it Not for real. Really you need whatever you have in your fridge, go crazy with it. And any amount. So that is it for the French toast. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed him in the kitchen. We have one more video for you. Hope you checked out the guacamole one that he made real simple, easy. All my dishes are simple and easy, guys. I'm not a very professional cook, you know. So, check that out. I'll post the, um, the recipe for this on my website so you all can check that out. Of course, I'm trying to and send pictures. He would love to see. Yes, and you a picture of your French out. toast. Have yeah. some powdered sugar, shake it up all over, make it look nice. Yeah. So like he said, I like to eat this with my uh, egg and sausage. So I have a video up on that. So you guys can check that out as well. Egg and hot dough, really. Yeah. So you guys can check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any questions, comment down below. We'll answer. He'll answer. For sure. Let me know. And uh, of course, if you do make your French toast, comment down below and let us know how differently you make it, of course. So thanks as always for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video as well. Uh, stay tuned for more. I we will see you guys in, in the next one. The next video. Very interesting.